So the first thing is we need to locate meetings. So again, if you're in a treatment center, your counselor will help you find them. Maybe as part of your program, you're already going to some meetings that either are in-house or they take you out uh, to a meeting. If you're not in a treatment center, uh, you can actually look it up at aa.org or na.org. You can look it up in the, in the yellow pages or other phone book. It's pretty easy to find them. You can actually call a treatment center and they'll usually tell you where the local meetings are uh, as well. So why do we go to meetings? Well, we go to meetings to find other people who have experienced alcoholism or addiction and to find out how they got better, okay? That's why we go to meetings. We need to find other people who've experienced what we've experienced and then find out what they did about their problem to get better. So some meetings are more helpful than others, and I'm gonna help you to determine which meetings might be most helpful for you. And the best way I know to, to uh, determine that is, are they more focused on the solution than they are the problem, okay? None bugs me more than hearing the same person share the same thing about the same problem and not hearing anything about what they're doing about it. What did they do to actually get better? That's the main thing that we need to hear about. So you're wanna, gonna wanna get meetings that are focused on the solution more than the problem. And the second thing to look for is, do they put their hand out to newcomers? If you go to a meeting and people are introducing themselves to you, maybe taking you over to the literature table and showing you some stuff, uh, maybe offering their phone number and enthusiastically just offering their help and maybe even their phone number, that's the kind of meeting you wanna go to. If you go to a meeting and you're new and nobody approaches you, you feel completely alone, you never really interact with anybody the whole meeting, that's not the meeting that you wanna go to. So you wanna find meetings that are more focused on the solution and meetings that put their hand out to the newcomer. So some more meeting tips. You're gonna to wanna to go to the same meetings each day. Okay, so you're gonna find a Monday meeting, go to that one every week. You're gonna find a Tuesday meeting, go to that one every week. Let's say your Thursday meeting you don't really care for, we'll find a different Thursday meeting and go to that one every week. Because what happens is, if you go to the same meetings every week, it becomes more comfortable to go to the meetings, right? Because you're seeing the same people. I know in, in the early going, it's really kind of hard to, you know, go to meetings where you, you don't really know anybody, right? But if even just going to a meeting for the second time, you're probably gonna have people going, oh, cool, you came back, you know? And, um, and eventually what happens is you get so comfortable going to these meetings. So once you've been there for about three or four times, now you're starting to develop relationships in these meetings. Now it becomes more comfortable to go. And you might actually find that you look forward to going to certain meetings because you're gonna find people that really give a darn about you and are willing to uh, help you in your sobriety and maybe uh, people that you even have stuff in common with. With. 